Check this out, some of the artwork that you can expect, even on public transportation, as they made the whole hub an art piece here in downtown Chicago. Tom Barnish, Chicago scene, downtown Chicago, heading out on the Loop Mural, hi, the Loop uh, Mural Walk, put together by the Chicago Loop Alliance. That is happening in downtown. I'm gonna talk to Jessica, who's gonna give me a little rundown and a little sneak peek of this tour and what you can expect when you're out on the walk. That is the Chicago scene for today. Let's enjoy some art, everybody. I swear you can get lost walking downtown, especially in the loop as people start to rediscover it for the first time since the pandemic started. And I'm here with Jessica. Jessica, you are with the Chicago Loop Alliance, right? Yes, that is right. And we're downtown. You've been kind enough to walk me around the uh, loop here about because of these new murals that you have going on here. Tell me about it. So we have put together a loop mural walk where we took existing murals and sort of packaged them together to give people something to do that's outside, take advantage of the summertime, and attract them back downtown. So tell me some of the greatest hits that uh, people might be able to, I mean, how many total are there? So there are 21 murals. Um, many of them are by uh, Chicago-based artists. Some of them, like the Muddy Waters mural that you see on State Street, are maybe a little more high profile. But I think the, the fun thing about the Loop Mural Walk is that it takes you into alleys, into loading docks, into the lower level of Michigan Avenue, parts of the loop that you're probably not used to walking around. Yeah, and I imagine some people might be a little skittish because they just don't know. So what's your recommendation for them in terms of preparing for something like this? Sure. So if you go to loopchicago.com slash mural walk, we have three different routes. The northernmost route, I would say, would be reserved for the most adventurous people, the most comfortable people who know the loop really well. That's the one that takes you on Lower Michigan. Uh, if you're not trying to go underground, um, <laughs> the second and third routes will keep you... Um, at ground level. But the cool thing about going down to Lower Michigan is not only do you have all that artwork down there, you get to see a different part of the sh uh, Chicago and the Billy Goat Tavern's down there. So it's a good spot to uh, maybe grab some lunch. But this tour is uh, 20, 21 exhibits throughout the city. How long does it take if you do the whole thing? I would allow yourself two hours to be on the safe side. It's a two mile tour, so you could probably knock it out in an hour, but you'll want to take some time to appreciate the artwork listen to the audio descriptions, read about it. Um, so to give yourself a cushion, I would say about two hours. Two hours to do it. And you said that all of these have an audio description. So how does that work about, you know, do you need to uh, bring it up on your phone when you're walking? Is it, what would you recommend? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's advised to bring a smartphone. You can follow turn by turn directions, no matter what route you pick. You can also find a list of all of the murals. So if you don't want to follow our directions, if you just want to see a couple, you can find your way to them. Um, there are really helpful maps. Um, and yeah, every mural has an audio description um, so you can learn about the artist and, and the meaning behind it. And I, I would say that this is a great way for people just to uh, reacclimate themselves with this city because most of these murals, a lot of these murals are by businesses where maybe it's convenient to have, like I mentioned earlier about the Billy Goat, but all of these are on buildings where there's restaurants around or just businesses that are welcoming you back to the city, which is kind of the point, right? To get people back down in the loop. Definitely, so while you're here, we're hoping that you'll swing by, I mean, whether you're shopping, dining, going to Sky Deck, an attraction, um, it's sort of a reason to be downtown, and then once you're here, you can explore everything else that the Loop has to offer. And on that note, we have some Loop deals at loopchicago.com slash loop deals for discounted admission, uh, dining deals. Uh, so while you're here, you can kind of get reacquainted with all the businesses that you maybe haven't seen for a while. And for people who want to post this on Instagram or hashtag it in a certain way, do you have anything that you want people to might uh, to do that for? Yeah, so use hashtag Loop Mural Walk, and in fact, when you do, you'll be entered to win a $1,000 Loop staycation package. Awesome. Well, Jessica, thank you very much. I appreciate you uh, giving me this little tour. Um, it really is a great way to be uh, reintroduced to downtown, so thank you very much. Thank you. All right, that is the Loop Mural Walk right here in Jewelers Row. That's where I'm finishing up. You can finish up wherever you want. T-B-A-R-N-A-S at WGNTV.com. That's T-Barnas at WGNTV.com. If you have a suggestion for the Chicago scene, and there'll be a link in the, the story here on how you can download all the information for this Loop Mural Walk. So be sure to check it out. Thanks.